So we're just going to be going through this route, and you know what that means. New route, new Pokemon. Oh, who's this? This is these dancers, I guess, that has that have uh, each an other region above Eevee. Interested if we could put Surf on Krogonoth. Hopefully we can. Hey, hey, Kuna is evolving. That's wow. We're going to be getting a Beedro. Hello everyone, I'm Tantu Blue One, and today in this episode we're going to be going through Pokemon for Nuzlocke like episode 15, of Route 37, and Akrotik City. And in the last episode we went through the National Park and Route 36. Uh, we have also kind of encountered the Sudorudo, which was right here. Sadly, we kind of failed to attempt. Actually, you guys can check out the last episode in the eye in the top right corner. And today in this episode we're just going to be going through this route, and you know what that means. New route, new Pokemon that we can be able to catch in this Nuzlocke. But before you do that, before we do that, oh, there is a time stamp in the top of the corner if you guys kind of want to skip through the parts, if you guys are interested. We're actually going to be going back, uh, let's go up or over here before we, you go to Route 37 and talk to this guy. Did you clear the rest tree? I'm impressed. I want to give, have you this. Alright, so I kind of forget. Yeah, this is a team 8, which is Rock Smash. I want to be Rock Smash, you Shatter Rocks. So, yeah, so we will be giving it to a Pokemon soon. I wish. We caught that pseudo Rudo and maybe you know it would have been perfect to give it to him. But uh sadly we didn't. But uh I did also miss a few things in National Park, so it's right here. And so there are also some hidden items. Uh we didn't catch any Pokemon from this place because of uh, our dupes claws that we encountered, I believe like in Kakuna, which we already have in our team. Here's our team if you guys are wondering. Kakuna, Ekans, Togepi, Sentry, Krogonaut, and Nidoran. I did also forget to, uh, forget to mention the last episode that I did switch out my Pokemon, so, before we ended it off, so. Actually, so right here, there is an item that you can actually go through past years, it's available, and I believe me, it's not a glitch, you can actually do this. That, uh, we'll be going to be going through this and getting this item right here. It's not a Pokeball, it's an item. So we found Paralyzed, Paralyzed Heal, which will uh, heal our Paralyzed Pokemon. And if you go over to the west right here, you can also get another item so let's go explore this so-called hidden place and here we go found tm28 which is dig uh yeah right there i was kind of wondering where we would get dig last episode and it's actually right here so and then if you go down here i think there's a hidden item it's kind of you know these kind of like long narrow edges I just said there has to be something. Here we go, full heal. All right, so we're gonna be putting that in, uh, in the iron pocket, and I'll be seeing you guys back to Route 37. Okay, so we have been able to get that those things out of the way now. This is a good part of this episode. Let's see if we can catch a new Pokemon here in Route 37. I'm um, gonna bring Krogna up first. Alright, hopefully it's not a Pokemon we would have if the dupes cause. Hopefully not, it's a Pidgey, of course you guys. We still are not able, I think it's been like 3 routes or something, and that we have not been able to catch new Pokemon. It's because of this dupes cause. Uh, it is optional, if you guys do Nuzlocke, you guys of course don't have to, don't have to do it, but uh, I kind of want this challenge, uh, the dupes cause challenge, so uh, that's a Pidgey right there. We can't be able to catch any more Pokemon. If you guys weren't, uh, or not, you guys can probably catch some other Pokemon. I believe that Pidgey is pretty common in that area. Uh, so, there is a Stantler. This is a Pokemon we would have been attempting to catch if we didn't have the uh, the claws on. But yeah, that's alright. Uh, we already have other Pokemon in our PC. We have Judude, uh, Ladybot. We have another Pidgey. And so, I think we're good. So, right here is kind of an area where you can, uh, can get Apricorns. And so we have two already, we have black ones and blue ones. If you guys don't know, these abricorns can turn into pokeballs if you get into Kurt in the Zolia Town city, in the Zolia Town, so. We can go back there, maybe once we get like fly, we can just easily just transport there and give them these abricorns. Alright, we're gonna go against another Pokemon, we're going to be running away. Uh, 
Maybe if you guys would like. I know you guys kind of like. Oh uh, no. I know you guys like the the commentary of where I was playing the Pokemon. I believe a few episodes ago. I might be able to do that since this one might be a bit short. 337 honestly isn't too long. Here we just have two trainers. I guess three if you guys want to count these two. And he, Ann and I are in this together. And me and our Pokemon, of course, we are together as one. As well. So I think this will be good competition. Twins Ann and Annie. There's a slight difference. Believe me, there is. He's sending out Jigglypuff. Uh, Jigglypuff. Uh, hopefully his first thing doesn't affect the Carbonaut, which we got in from episode 1, you guys can of course check out the beginning of our journey right here. Now up, let's try using Bite, hopefully we can flinch Jigglypuff. Nope, okay yes it did. Yeah that's the thing I liked about Bite. And scroll again. Let's spray a little bit of that water. The strength of Jigglypuff is, is just reminds me of uh, Smash Bros. Honestly, I've been playing uh, Ultimate, and it's a really fun game as a, as a side of playing Pokemon Super, which I love a bit more. But of course, we all have our different opinions. I'm going Dickens again. She's going to be using Clefairy. It is similar to Jigglypuff. Yeah, similar moves. Dickens is close to leveling up. And, uh, and also last episode we were also trying to train our Kakuna, which is level 15. It's close to level, uh, evolving, I believe, is what its next step is. I guess we treated out from the Pokemon uh, Daycare Center, so wasn't able to evolve. So Encore is going to let us uh, use Fight again, which is not bad. Double slap, and missed. So Encore, I guess it's let see you repeat the move, uh, over and over again. No need for Clefairy really to use Encore twice. So, uh, that really didn't have any effect on us. Thank you, level 13. It's going to take Ekans a while to evolve. I believe maybe 20. I don't want to spoil much, but it's going to take definitely a while. So, let's get Kakuna up there and be going against. This train right here. I believe this is the last one of this route. It's not that long. Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Yeah, they pretty much can't. I believe I don't even know if we have an awakening in our item pocket, so we kinda gotta watch out. Okay, Hakuna doesn't have any moves, and maybe it will once it level levels up. We got Hakuna as a Kakuna. So I mean, we kind of had to have catch it on, on its first uh, counter on the route, so it's like, you know, why not catch it? Better than nothing. We'd have Bite, which is super effective against Ground Z, which is a Psychic type. The flinch, let's use Bite again. There you have it, super effective. Having a uh, Dark type with the Crocodile is very, very useful. 16, okay. I think Greg was defeated. Oh, that's pretty hard. Yeah. Hey, hey, Kuna is evolving. That's wow. We're gonna be getting a Beedrill. Of course, you could trust B to stop it, but no way, man. We gotta, we gotta get this Beedrill. Hey, Kuna evolve into a Beedrill. Alrighty. Didn't learn any moves there, so I didn't know that. I guess if you evolve your Pokemon late, it doesn't learn any moves. It's very awkward. Uh, Beedro not having any moves. But, uh, there you have it. Does Beedro not learn any moves when it levels up? Hmm. Alright, well that's that, I guess. Uh, we're gonna be putting Nico Ray, which is our leader in our mail, up first. I haven't been able to really use it. So. Our... Oh, who's this? This is... Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Silver, so huh? You can't- I thought this guy was red. He had the same hair color. Can't blame me. Hmm, Silver, so huh? I'm at the right time. Just finished my assignment. Just met on time capsule. 
You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? Yeah, I do, but in a Nuzlocke? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Not, not too into that trading. My time capsule was developed too, and it was traded with the past, but you can't say anything like that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC would have been broken down. Does it have to remove anything? That was around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow the time capsule will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on, go back, go on, and see my folks. Bye bye. Alright, so there he is. Uh, Bill. We kind of searching for him in Goldenrod City. If you go back and talk to him, I believe you can earn yourself an Eevee, which we will. Uh, I could do that off screen. I could even do this like later on in this episode. So, and we didn't catch or earn ourselves any Pokemon in Goldenrod City. So, it's, of course, it's available and it is. Uh, gift Pokemon, so you are allowed to get it. Uh, I think Eevee would be a cool uh, Pokemon to get in our team. Uh, this is, looks like an aid. Uh, these are kind of the guys that you kind of want to talk to. Parents of the Gyarados, uh, I know it. Okay, conspiracy about the Lake of Rage, which we will be going through later on. Here's our bike. Uh, yeah, the Pokemon lets to buy some things. Hey, welcome. Uh, I believe I would like to sell my revive since since we won't be using it. No revives and yep. I have a bunch of cash, so uh, you can certainly buy something. I would like to buy. Yeah, more great balls for sure. Uh, six I think will be enough. Soon we'll be able to get ultra balls, so. Arrive can do that, so we can get some more awakenings. I don't think we have a lot. I'll buy antidote, uh, and then we can waste, I guess, most of it on. There we go. Don't want to waste all my money. Uh, we can get hyper potions later on into the game, so I kind of want to save most of my money on that. We're not super low on super potions. We probably have a total of maybe 15, 20 right now. I believe I can check. Yeah, 15, uh, Great Balls, 10, that's a pretty good amount. Alright. So, what we're going to be doing right here, this is also an episode on, uh, pff, dang, I forgot the name of this town. <laughs> Ecrotech City, okay. I don't know, I have troubles just pronouncing this name. Ecrotech, Ecrotech City. Okay, I'm having troubles, guys. Ecrotique City, uh... I'm not too familiar with the Joe region. I have a, more of a foundation knowledge on the Cancer region. But, so, we do... We can do some things right here. The Dance Theater, so this is mostly what our... I guess, this town is going to be taking place on. So, pretty much, we're just going to be going through... These dancers, I guess, that has... That have, uh, each an evolution. But easy, so let's just take on the first one I'll be showing you guys. And you guys can get an HM afterwards. You have lonely Pokemon, may I see them in battle? No, I don't have lonely Pokemon, what are you talking about? Great Pokemon. I'll show them to you. Chemo Girl. Sent out Flareon. So you can run it, uh... Movies are a horn attack and double kick. Not going to be the greatest. Of course, Croconaw, which has an advantage. That's what we're going to be using. So this is actually our first time uh, training Nidoran. Ember is not going to be doing much. I don't remember uh, which of the dances have the uh, Jolteon, so I gotta watch out. I don't know which one. I believe this dancer's clothing was like green, so this clothing don't resemble its, uh, its Pokemon type, so that doesn't really help us too much. I don't know. So... Flare around having pretty good, I guess, defense for him having two shot on us, or making Flare around three shot actually, pretty much. So level 17, yes, these Pokemon are pretty high. 360, you're level 13. Uh, they give a lot of experience at least. And yeah, level 24. And yeah, some XP. So this Kimo girl gets defeated. Okay, guys. So we have pretty much. 25% chance of one of these guys having Jolteon. I don't know what it is. This one, this one looks weird, suspicious. This Pokemon, 
Okay. Well, I should switch down my Pokemon. I mean, okay. That's alright. So everything's gonna be alright. Espeon. Okay, so this is a psychic type. You can use our dark move on him. And double kick it is fighting. It's not very effective. You don't want to be using that. And also, psychic types are super effective to poison. So, you really don't want to be using the around. Confusion. I'm trying to confuse me. That's going to be doing some damage. and might actually put a uh, confusion on me. But guess what, guys? It did not. So. So that, I believe that's well. Is it going to be a uh, three shot to us beyond that bite, even though it's super effective? Uh, sand attack. It's going to be going first this time. Don't know why. Alright, super effective. You're angry level 14. Everybody's defeated. Alright. Uh, I'm going to be switching out some Pokemon and I'll be going to Pokemon Center. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, here's our new team I guess we have with us. I just went a uh, change, I believe, Tenorit of Century with Pidgey. And then we do have, I changed Beedrill with Ladybug, so we can kind of train those lower level Pokemon. And we're going to be training Togepi up first, our dog seed Pokemon. And be going against, can you talk to me please? Okay. Oh, Pokemon Battle. Alrighty. Another one. Kimo Girl, another one, wants to battle. Sent out Umbreon. Took these close to uh, leveling up. Okay, uh, what just happened? Oh no. Okay, I pursue? It, it does that? That's close. Hogafi. <laughs> oh damn, okay, I, I never knew that. I didn't know pursue could do that. Okay, good to know. Now, I don't know what happened there. I gotta look up the uh, move Pursuit, I guess. Gotta look into that. Uh, our war zone is gonna be taking a while, yes. Our bite, I don't think, is very effective. Alrighty, and that was that. Our ground was mid faint. To the people level 13. Sakima Girl was defeated. I don't have any Pokemon left. Okay. So we have Vaporeon and Jolteon left. Uh, let's put on Python. Alright, and let's give a potion. I'm scared of Croconaw just dying to Jolteon. So I gotta kind of watch out of that. Uh, trainer would really like this battle. All right. I feel like I should maybe get out Judith. I find if this guy has a Euphorion, because I don't know who is. Okay. So I might just switch out to get uh, Judith just to play it safe. So we're pouring on, yeah, it's gonna have to be using tackle, it's not gonna be using water gun, it's not very uh, effective on us. Okay, so that was that right there. We did uh, miss all of our shots because Vaporeon did use sand attack a lot. It did use kill whip, I believe, a few times in the tackle. And so yeah. Karganoff. Uh close to living up again. And soon we'll get to level um so of uh, where it can evolve into frog frag later. Before we go again to uh, Jolteon, I am going to be switching to Judith, so I'll be right back. Okay, so if you guys don't know, uh, we did use Blockhead a lot and during during the Gunrod City Gym, so he's pretty high leveled, I guess, compared to my other Pokemon. So I believe uh, we can kind of give him get uh, a better uh, advantage, I guess, going against I believe she has a Jolteon. I guess that's like the last uh, evolution of the Eevilusion, I guess, uh, squad. Of course, there's more in uh, later generations. So we could use Magnitude, which is super effective. I guess Jolteon is kind of going to be using the same moves as Vaporeon did. He's going to be using... Vaporeon uses Sand Attack a lot. 
should be super effective. And I killed it. Yeah. I killed it pretty much. 717 experience points. I got Blockhead to level up. So that's why I kind of Blockhead very, very high level because we trained him a lot for the gym. So. And that was that. Let's actually talk to this guy right here. Not only are the King Gorillas great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never ever even left a scratch. The way you battle it was like watching you dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take this. So, so we received HM03. Put HM03 in the TM pocket. That's Surf. It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across the water. So yeah, we have this. Uh, if we can, that's actually I would be interested if we could put Surf on Krogna. Hopefully we can, and we're able to. So Surf is a uh, stronger move than Water Gun, so sure, why not kind of like trade it for that? I don't know why I would need Water Gun and Surf when I'm really not ever going to be using Water Gun once I get Surf. Uh, the thing about Water Gun that makes it get slightly better is that you are able to use it more. I believe the power point for Surf is like 15 and then for Water Gun it's like 25 or even 30, I don't know. I've been using Water Gun forever and I still don't know. But we're going to be using it on Croconaw as we're able to. Okay guys, so I believe kind of like mark this episode down, eh? So next episode we're actually going to be going this tower actually let's get Eevee from Golden Rock City it's gonna kind of be take a while for the journey but I'll be right back with you guys okay guys so here we are back in Golden Rock City I just couldn't wait to get like fly come back here I really wanted this Eevee I believe is what the gift Pokemon is what Bill is going to give us is this his house no this is not his house is this it yes it is so let's be talking to Bill which looks like our revival but uh no it's not Go well, hi Silver, do us a favor and take this Eevee. It came over when I was just in Time Castle. Somehow hasn't been taken on care of, but I don't like it being outside. Can I count on you to play with it? Yes. Anyway, way to go here. You're the real deal, dude. Okay, I'm counting on you to take good care of it. Whoa, you get- oh. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Okay, uh, take two. I obviously knew that. Of course, you needed an extra room to get your Eevee. I obviously knew that. Okay. So we're gonna be getting our Eevee right here. You need for your hero, you're the real deal, dude. Can I only need to take good care of it? So we see Eevee on this journey of Nuzlocke, and I believe it's uh this alright because it is a gift Pokemon from Golden Rock City, but we haven't got any new Pokemon from here. So I will be naming it. Okay, so we're going with Jack. It is the most original name. But guys, I couldn't think of anything better. So I named it Jack. Welcome to a new unknown wave. So guys, we could get uh, stones. Uh, I don't know if you can get them from the Pokemon here. I know from Celebon City in the general one or in the Cancer region. Uh, I know you can. Uh, gen uh, Cancer region is my favorite region. I' not too familiar with the general region. I haven't really checked the whole Mart. So uh, I'm. You guys can. You guys can let me know in the comments below. If there's actually a stone. I don't know what I really want to evolve it to. I believe I think a fire type would be good. Uh, I guess when going against electric type that Krogana cannot really go against. Or I guess electric types as well. As uh, we can use in Konyas. I guess as a better, uh, better way going against electric Pokemon. If you know what I'm saying. So we got Jack level 20 right here. I kind of want to know its stats. I don't think we'll be going into any other battle this episode. Tackle with Tail would stand attack and growl. So really, we only have Tackle. It is level 20. But hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, everyone. So I think that will be all for today's episode. In the next episode, we will actually be going through the Burnt Tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away as it's unsafe. Please stay away. But this is where we will be going all in the next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode of Route 37 and er I forgot how to pronounce it gosh uh where is it here it is Ecrotake Town I, I I don't know why I can't remember that name Ecrotake it's uh, it doesn't even sound English but here you go this is where we're going to be ending it off uh the cities are named after flowers right well the city you got golden rod I think so I totally could be wrong but thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
guys if you would guys can subscribe follow me on twitter to get stay notified and we got a discord server for all, all those pokemon nuzlocke fans down there you guys you can be able to check out hopefully you guys are enjoying the content i will see you guys all later peace for recap of today's episode, we went through 37, and also we went to the Ecritic City, which we have also went to the Vamps, Vamps Theater, which we have uh, went through Umbreon and Jolteon, you know, those EV evolutions. And we also went back to Goro City, also claiming to get an EV from there. And then the next episode, we're going to be going through the Burt Tower. Thank you guys all for watching. If you guys are new new here to the channel, you guys can subscribe. If you guys all love Pokemon, and if you guys want to be notified, you, you guys can uh, check that notification box down next to the subscription and like the video if you guys liked it. And share this video with all the Pokemon trainers out there. Love you guys all. See you guys later.